I am so delighted to be here with, well, one of the men I admire most in the United States of America, one of the best attorneys I've always said. It jokingly, of course, but there's a, a grain of truth in it. If I ever get into trouble, I'm going to call Tom Mesereau. I'm going to have him on my speed dial. One of the great attorneys who successfully defended Michael Jackson in the 2005 child molestation trial. And I watched you in action, Tom, and I, I learned a very important lesson. There's no such thing as an open and shut case. It, when you defended Michael Jackson, a lot of people thought it's the, the prosecution's got a slam dunk here and they were kind of walking around like this and you very quietly came in there and decimated their case so taking a look at this case how do you think the prosecution is doing thus far so far they're doing very well they're presenting a very logical orderly clear concise case and I think it has impact I don't think they're confusing anybody with what they're bringing out on direct examination. I don't think the defense has been able to do very much on cross yet. But you know, a trial is not over till it's over. You can't score it like a, like a ball game. It's not an inning by inning type of process. It all hangs together somehow at the end, and you may, we may be in store for some surprises you know, by the defense. So I'm I, wouldn't, sure. I wouldn't sell them short yet. No, no, and if they're not doing gangbusters in the prosecution's case, then you know that the prosecution is really, really in trouble. Now, um, I, I want to play a little bit more of the sound that we have. And uh, Nicole Alvarez said something very interesting. She met Michael Jackson himself, and she was so excited about this. And he was very interested in her unborn child, the child she was having um, by Dr. Conrad Murray. Check this out. Michael was very interested in the baby. He um, saw my stomach grow with the pregnancy and he wanted to schedule visits so that he could see my son. It would appear that Dr. Conrad Murray, who didn't even tell her that he was taking her, his girlfriend, to see Michael Jackson, and then she was just overcome with excitement, was using Michael Jackson as some kind of prize to reward his girlfriends or to show off to his girlfriends. Do you think that's inappropriate for a doctor? I don't find this terribly significant. You know, in the world of Michael Jackson, he was, the, he was the greatest celebrity on the planet. He was the greatest musical genius on the planet. And most people who met him uh, for any length of time wanted to introduce friends, family, etc. So I don't read too much into this. And, and I don't think the jury in the end is going to care too much about the fact that he had a lot of pretty girlfriends. What they're going to care about is what they said in combination with all the rest of the evidence. And that's where he's got a real problem. He looks un unprofessional. He looks mediocre. He looks narcissistic and selfish. At a time when he should be caring about his patient, he seems to be always caring about himself. And I think it may take him down. Yeah.